Hey guys, today you're here with Doug, aka The Real Line, coming at you today with another quick product video and a continuation of our small product series. In our intro video, I highlighted the differences between your standard SATA-based SSD and the newer NVMe standard with a focus on the Intel 750 series PCIe X4 NVMe 1.2 terabyte SSD drive. In this video, I'll be showcasing off some quick synthetic benchmarks using the popular tools of Crystal Diskmark and Edobench. Now, as is expected, the SATA interface limits our high-performance SSD to roughly 550 to 600 megabytes per second. Meanwhile, due to the PCIe X4 interface, we can obtain roughly 1.2 gigabytes per second writes and over 2.5 gigabytes per second reads on our Intel SSD. But wait, the numbers don't seem quite as high here as expected. Well, I didn't realize there was a bottleneck in place until I was making the final media files for the videos. I can only show results for the Intel drive here based uh, compared to the SSD for which I do apologize. But basically, even with compressing via GeForce Shadowplay, capturing a 4K recording stream to a secondary SSD is still putting stress on the subsystem and affecting results. I also noticed Edo was slightly out of date, so I updated that and reran the benchmark without capturing simultaneously. Bam, sure enough, we see some difference. As you can see now, we gain roughly 5 to 15% more performance by removing the capturing overhead. Green across the board equals higher speeds and true results. Next up, we have Crystal Disk Tools Crystal Disk Mark X64 test. I was again going to post live results while capturing, but tried the same benchmark again afterwards without video interference to see if results would be the same. And again, here we gain roughly 10 to 15% performance with reads well past 2 gigabytes per second and writes in the 1 gigabyte per second range. The shaded green bars attempt to approximate and show the difference between running the tool while video recording and standalone. But, you might ask, does any of this number crunching really result in tangible performance from booting to running applications or games? Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and tune in for more videos in the series once they're made to find out. Thanks for watching.